What's up, everybody? Ducks and Download back for another figure review. This time, we're going to get started on the Black Series reviews as I have multiple figures to open for all of us. Um, today, though, we're going to do an Inquisitor batch as I have both Reva and the Fifth Brother from the Kenobi series ready to open. So, we will start with the Fifth Brother. Uh, just in box, already has like a really nice art right there. I loved the addition of him into the Star Wars universe, King from Fast and Furious. Which is really awesome that his character is not fast nor furious in this whatsoever. So, I thought that was pretty funny. This was actually pre-owned. Thankfully, I've already kind of looked them over. No real damage. Haven't pulled them out exactly till right now fully, though. But, thankfully, it looks like there was no damage. But because he was used, I got him for about, oh, I think $20. Which is far better than Reva. Reva was still at full price for uh, 30 that off okay so I guess that would be how it can sit on his hip and or I imagine maybe make him hold it Ooh, maybe they can fly like in Rebels <laughs> all right nice I'm already really oh it's on his back that's right let's fix his foot there all right oh I didn't even know there was a red stripe underneath his head I wonder how screen accurate that is I'll have to look that up I really like the accents of red that you can see on his helmet. That's really nice. The saber is good. It's got a little bend in it, but that always happens. These sabers are always in need of constant kind of readjusting and warping. Just, there we go. All right. Let's check out some articulation here. All right, not too weak legs. That's the number one thing, honestly, for me. As long as I have good legs, I'm far happier because then I know they can stand. There we go, yep, stand so much easier. And here is a far better up close of him real quick. We can see the red there on his chest, the gray and red buttons throughout his abdomen and belt. Down to the boots. Absolutely gorgeous figure, I honestly think. And really good screen likeness. I mean, when you're covered in paint, it'll help, but of course, that's where the saber goes there. The back of the helmet, honestly, looking at it from this point of view, he looks really close to the Rebel's point of view, especially to the back of the head here. Much wider, but going to this nice point. Like the back of the belt there has nice little detailing to still give it something to look at. Good clean cutouts for the joints. Yeah, I definitely am enjoying this figure so far. Alright, now let's get him his lightsaber. Let's see if we can get him a good pose early on here. Let's see, that hand is pretty good grip on it. Ah, let's open it up a bit. There. There uh, that's the only thing I'm going to say is I don't like kind of having that uh, right there in the center. Makes it very strange for him to hold it. I would definitely not want it to poke out because that does not look, that one look near as good. Very nice. Really good figure. Good articulation. Posing is super easy. Those boots, wow, those boots can definitely hold up a lot. I can tell that he's going to be very good at uh, putting into different poses. And However, I decided to put him up on the shelf, which I'll give you guys a good shelf shot at the very end of the video. All right, now for Reva. This figure was brand new, never opened before, and this was the one I was actually the most excited for. But as of right now, Fit Brother could easily steal the spot. I will say though, the likeness on this character is very good, and I have heard 
that the articulation is brilliant. Uh, the fact that she not only comes with the full double saber here, but the broken here, that is really cool. So there's gonna be a lot of possibility on that or the ability to make my own Inquisitors or Sith, which that's gonna be the best part. I can already see using the lightsaber she comes with, especially that part here, the uh, where it comes off, turning that into a full hand guard. Grab another Trandosian, there we go guys. If you're into the High Republic, we can make a Skier Jedi. All right. Front shield off. The fact that she has soft goods, of course, immediately makes the figure a little bit better to a lot of people's eyes. Uh, I like to look at the overall figure. Soft goods are, of course, brilliant. But they're not the end I'll be all in my book. Come here, you. I actually really enjoy... Yeah. really enjoy the new way they're doing uh, plastic packaging by reducing the plastic in here. Just do that. Just like reduce as much plastic as you guys use. You don't need to take the plastic away entirely. I know, I know. I hate turtles, I guess, but whatever. Hiya. All right. Let's go there. Let's get these out. Oh, sorry, AT18. No, yeah, I could very easily you just get a little bit of sculpting clay or something. Bring this back down, make a nice hand guard. You could have, oh, if you guys have recently seen the blade come out, you could also make a porter angle lightsaber with this. Now that would be awesome. All right, we'll put all that up here. Let's get Reba out. Freed from the car, oh, that K, okay, okay. Yeah, the hair's gorgeous, but that that flow, oh, okay, that's good. Yep, that wins. <laughs> that absolutely wins. Oh, yep, out of box. So let's do a little adjusting here. Let's see if she's she's gonna have the faded female feet fatality where it just doesn't stand up as well. There we go. All right, nope. The Inquisitorium boots strike again. Much like the Mando boots, it makes the lady figures far easier to stand up when they have much nicer boots yeah very easy to tip over because they just they make them so like top heavy from about the knee up for these uh size of feet oh we got some nice little articulation in here too oh, okay interesting so her knees a little on the low side if you ask me <laughs> Bam. Arms. Mm, yeah, see, arms kind of suffer, I think, a lot. Like, I'm always scared to break the arms just because they don't like to go up sometimes. All right, there we go. Worked it in. That's actually pretty good. It's actually, it, I, I will admit, okay, this is very good articulation. Uh, his shoulders were much tougher to get up. The fifth brothers were. Now I got to go with the, the double. Hers does not come with the ability... To attach to the back as it seems uh, i'm gonna imagine there yep so hers is attached to the hip it's gonna make this so much e yeah that just snaps right in and it looks far better you don't have to hold it because that's the problem with the fifth brother here is you have to hold it really far down or high up or have that peg uh, exposed i don't like that i think that's silly Let's get her in a nice dual handed pose here. I would have loved to have seen her in action far more fighting, honestly. Ah, come on. Inquisitors have some of not only the coolest lightsabers, just in the form of that they're different, I think, but they also have such amazing sounds. The Inquisitorium lightsaber is that deep, deep resonating hum. Okay, that's a little problematic right there. It's not super easy to get both of these hands on there. Bam. Wham, bam. 
Thank you, ma'am. All right, take a nice look here. I enjoy the uh, small pieces they're doing. You know, the sigil here on the shoulder is nice. Chest looks good. Very screen accurate, I would say, honestly. Uh, especially with the nice minimalistic styling that they kind of went with for Riva's design. Sadly, it kind of suffers from that same sheen like Mace Windu does. I don't know if that's just because they're not really getting coloring right, which I really hope they work on. I also think it's from filming, though. It looks far better in person than it does through the camera lens. With the lighting and all that. But no, I, I, it looks far better in person, though. Nice little touch of red there. Good paint all the way through. I, I really enjoy the legs and the texturing on the inside. These two are awesome figures. Really, really awesome figures. All right, guys, and overall though, yeah, these figures are absolutely brilliant and have amazing articulation and the ability to stand. Her ability to be moved around and stand on her own is really, really good and I think a kind of a good fortune and a good sight for future female characters or, or smaller frames in general. Fifth Brother is definitely high up there as a favorite of mine, but Reva is going to definitely take the cake. With that billowy cape of hers, it is just gorgeous, and I can tell people are going to be able to use this for amazing shots. Might even get into toy photography myself. Why not? These figures are brilliant, though, and I'm super happy to add both of them to my collection. And, of course, as promised, the shelf shot. There they are. Bringing it together and filling the hole I had. But don't worry, many more Inquisitors and Sith to come. Grand Inquisitor should be next. Help fill up this gap more. And have an amazing rest of your day. As always, may the Force serve you well.